Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Today we're going to take an early look at the John Deere C850 Air Cart and P576 Air Drill from Custom Modding. These machines have been made for all platforms, however, they're not out at the time of recording this video, but they may already be here when you're watching it. So today we're going to take a look at the mods, that way you know exactly what to expect and see all the customization. I want to thank Custom Modding for sending these over to show you guys. Without them, this video would not have been possible, so thank you. If you'd like to check out Custom Modding, I'll leave some links in the description for you. Drop by and let them know DJ sent you. These are really easy to find. Just make your way into Mods and DLCs in the Mod Hub and find a John Deere C850 Air Cart and P576 Aero Drill. First up, let's take a look at the cart itself because this is going to hold all of your seed and fertilizer or just seed if you really want to, totaling 29,953 liters and it weighs 24 tons. Oof! We don't have slot counts right now, but I'm going to guess probably around 15 to 20, maybe a little bit more. So our first version right here holds seed and fertilizer. It's got 19,000 liters of seed and about 15,500 liters of solid fertilizer. However, you can change that up if you wish. We've also got wheel brands from Midas, Michelin, Lizard, the Lizard again, and Camso Tracks. Oh, baby. So as far as these, we've got kind of like singles, rear duels, bigger ones, duels, and then tracks in the back. And those are going to hold standard for Michelin as well. Now, when we get into Lizard, we've got kind of the same thing here, but we do have duels all the way around, which you guys probably are familiar with from the Farm Sim 19 version of this. But yeah, we got them tracks too, don't you worry. We've also got two different styles of Lizard. I'm not sure what brand these are, maybe Goodyear or something like that, but nonetheless, hey, we got duels and tracks there too. But my favorite, the Cabso tracks. We also have numbers one through nine all around the machine. You're good to go. And then we have a rear hitch on here. You could hook a couple of these up together. So if you want to fill one with seed and another one with seed and fertilizer, you could do that or both of them with seed and double your seed capacity. You're going to need a lot of power though, <laughs> at least with the 600 some horsepower. Pulling these are pretty difficult, especially when it's full. Now take a look at the air drill that comes with this as well. So this is the P576. It's a different drill that came with the version of Farm Sim 19, but still looks super, super good. This is 17.9 tons by itself. So pairing the two together, 24 tons, 17.9 tons, that's heavy. 520 horsepower is required for this as well, and you're going to need every single one of those. 23.2 meter working with at 6 miles an hour. It is direct drill, and it will do wheat, barley, oats, canola, so uh, soybeans, sorghum, cover crop, and grass. So it does all of your standard crops there. Numbers again, one through nine all around it. And then we've got some spare lights. I do want to take a quick walk around the machine because holy cow is everything good. You could get right up on here. I'm recording this in 4K so you can actually see it. Uh, I mean, some of these are really easy to, to read. You got everything down to the smallest itty bitty little details all around the machine all the way through the front all the way through the back and even on the top as mentioned on the top as well we have two bins here the back bin is just a single and then the front bin has two openings we'll open that here in just a second and then we've got the design of the drill itself oof uh also one thing that i have noticed uh the cedar makes the tractor look absolutely tiny that's the base game 9r with midas duels all the way around it and it looks so small jumping in now it is empty so let's see if we can spin around here oh yeah no trouble whatsoever the tracks are going to turn with you as well um they are kind of like stepped so it's not completely smooth all the way through at least the sharp turns but you know what it'll be just fine coming in here yeah not too bad Yo, you want to see the animations on this? It is pretty ridiculous. All right, let's get it lined up so at least you can see this. So it does take a hot minute to open this up, but it sounds good. It looks good. And it's, well, it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and drop down so you guys can see this. Boom. Then we have a different sound with the next animation. And we're going to go through the entire thing so you guys can see just how long it's going to take. Um... Yeah, it takes just a little while. And then we've got the bits down at the bottom as well, which do have to lower down. And then finally, all the pieces are there. Boop. Just like so. And we're done. Uh, all the hoses are uh, skin to mesh, so they go along with it as well. And I'll just kind of walk along the back so you can see just the sheer amount of detail. I'm just going to stop like right here. Look at that. 
Oh, that's crazy. Um, we can also open this up. So let's do that. Let's move ourselves back just a little bit. And we're going to open cover. Now that first cover is going to be for seed only. <laughs> Pretty much seed all the time. We'll come through here. We're going to fill. You can see 19,000 liters seed. And we're full. Now the next one, we're going to open up the next cover. It's going to move to the very front. And this one is going to be for seed or fertilizer. So check it out. So you can see it says seed or unknown. So we'll click unknown. I've got it selected as solid fertilizer right now. And that's what it'll do. And then lastly, fold it up. And it'll boop back to the beginning again. This part does go a little bit quicker than I think I would have expected, at least for real life stuff. But eh, ain't too bad. All right, let's get to doing what this thing does. So we are in field 57 right here on uh, Elm Creek. And we've got soybeans in there right now. However, uh, well, we've got wheat selected so we're going to drop everything down boom just like so we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna get moving and i'm actually gonna hire a worker here as well make things a little bit easier for myself again it is direct drill so it's going to completely get rid of anything that you're going up against i got the tracks on here so you can just see how they are just moving along let's go and cut some lights on here so we can cut through the dirt Look at that! Oh, I love the animations that they've got on this thing. I wonder if I can get in front of him right here, or at least jump on top and see it moving. Uh, I think we're good right here. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's just pretty epic, isn't it? All right, so here's a fun one and something that I found really interesting about this piece of machinery. It will turn. I'm going to show you guys just how good this thing will turn. We'll turn it back on here. I've kind of come around on myself right here. Go straight up to the end. I do have everything turned off as well, so I can go as fast as I want, but it does take a minute. There we go. I'm just going to raise it up. I am going to use the train tracks. Hopefully, we don't get taken out by the train. And you can see right down at the end, we'll go ahead and hire a worker once more. Boom. It turns around on itself in that small amount of space. So if you guys are looking for something that's very nimble and is going to get the job done that you want, and let's be honest, some of the best looking ways possible. Well, I think this is the mod, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Again, I want to thank Custom Modding for sending this over early to show you guys. Again, there's a couple links in the description. Check them out. Tell them DJ sent you. That helps them out a lot, and it helps me out a lot if you guys drop a like on the video. If you're not subscribed, definitely get subscribed to do first looks like this. Let's plays, news, mods, reviews, all kinds of stuff. So just get subscribed. I got you, man. Otherwise, hope you enjoy the video. Drop a like. Do the subscribe thing. Uh, join the GoHam fam notifications. Make sure they're on. I don't know. Everybody says it, so I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> Hope you guys have an awesome day. This was so much fun to record, and I can't wait for this to be out for everybody. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys later. Peace.